England is a country located in the southern part of the island of Great Britain, which is part of the larger British Isles. It shares borders with Scotland to the north and Wales to the west. The country is surrounded by the North Sea to the east, the English Channel to the south, and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. England has a rich cultural heritage that spans centuries. It is renowned for its contributions to literature, theater, music, and art. Playwrights like William Shakespeare and literary figures. England's cultural scene is also reflected in its numerous museums, galleries, theaters, and music festivals. England offers a wide range of tourist attractions, including historic landmarks, cultural institutions, and natural landscapes. Let's have a look at best places to visit in England. Number 1. Cornwall Certainly, Cornwall is a beautiful and distinct region located in the southwestern part of England. Cornwall is known for its stunning coastal landscapes, sandy beaches, rugged cliffs, and charming fishing villages. It is surrounded by the Celtic Sea to the north and west and the English Channel to the south. The region's unique geography has earned it a reputation as one of the most picturesque areas in the United Kingdom. Cornwall's landscapes are diverse, ranging from the wild moorlands of Bodmin Moor to the picturesque beaches of Stree Dives and Newquay. The dramatic cliffs of places like Land's End and the Lizard Peninsula offer breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean. Cornwall has a rich history with ties to mining, fishing, and maritime trade. Number 2. The Lake District National Park The Lake District National Park, often referred to simply as the Lake District, is a stunningly beautiful and renowned national park located in Cumbria, in the northwest of England. It is known for its breathtaking landscapes, picturesque lakes, rugged mountains, and charming villages. The Lake District is famous for its awe-inspiring natural beauty. It is characterized by its pristine lakes, rolling hills, and towering mountains, creating a landscape that has captivated artists, writers, and travelers for centuries. The park is home to 16 major lakes, including Windermere, Ulswater, Derwentwater, and Coniston Water. Number 3. Cotswolds the Cotswolds is a picturesque and quintessentially English region located in the southwestern part of England, known for its charming villages, rolling hills, and timeless beauty. The Cotswolds is characterized by its gentle, rolling hills, lush meadows, and honey-colored limestone buildings that give the area its distinct charm. It covers several counties, including Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire, Worcestershire, Warwickshire, and Wiltshire. The Cotswolds is renowned for its picture-perfect villages that seem frozen in time. These villages are characterized by their quaint cottages, historic churches, and charming market squares. Some of the most well-known villages include Borton-on-the-Water, Bibbury, Chipping Campton, Broadway, and Stowe-on-the-Wold. Number 4. Windsor Castle Windsor Castle Located in the county of Berkshire, England, is not only one of the most iconic castles in the country, but also the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world. Windsor Castle has a history that spans over a thousand years. It was originally built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century as a defensive fortress. Throughout the centuries, successive monarchs have contributed to its expansion and renovation, making it a magnificent blend of architectural styles and historical periods. Windsor Castle continues to be a royal residence to this day. It's a favored retreat for the British monarch and a venue for various royal events, ceremonies, and state functions. Number 5. York Minster York Minster, officially known as the Cathedral and Metropolitical Church of St. Peter in York, is a magnificent Gothic cathedral located in the historic city of York, England. It is one of the largest and most significant cathedrals in Northern Europe. York Minster has a history that spans over a millennium. Its origins can be traced back to the 7th century, making it one of the oldest Christian sites in England. The current cathedral, as it stands today, took centuries to build and reflects various architectural styles. The architecture of York Minster is a stunning example of Gothic design. Its soaring nave, intricate stonework, and breathtaking stained glass windows are some of its most remarkable features. Number 6. Stonehenge Stonehenge is an iconic prehistoric monument located on the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. 
It is one of the most famous and mysterious landmarks in the world, renowned for its enigmatic stone circle and its historical and cultural significance. Stonehenge dates back to the Neolithic period, around 2500 BCE, with construction continuing into the Bronze Age. Stonehenge consists of a circular arrangement of large standing stones, some weighing up to 25 tons, and lintels, horizontal stones, atop them. The monument is aligned with the movements of the sun, with specific stones marking key points in the solar calendar, such as the solstices and equinoxes. Number 7. Jurassic Coast the Jurassic Coast is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located along the southern coast of England, stretching from East Devon to Dorset. It is renowned for its geological significance, stunning coastal landscapes, and rich history that spans millions of years. The Jurassic Coast is famous for its remarkable rock formations, fossils, and evidence of Earth's history. It showcases a continuous 185 million year geological timeline revealing the story of life on our planet from the Triassic to the Cretaceous periods. The coast features an array of impressive geological features, including dramatic cliffs, sea stacks, natural arches, and unique rock formations. Number 8. Blenheim Palace Blenheim Palace is a magnificent stately home and UNESCO World Heritage Site located in Woodstock, Oxfordshire. It is renowned for its stunning architecture, extensive grounds, and historical significance. Blenheim Palace was built in the early 18th century and is considered a masterpiece of English Baroque architecture. It was designed by Sir John Vanbrugh and Nicholas Hawksmoor, and its grandeur is a testament to the vision of its creator, the first Duke of Marlborough, John Churchill. Blenheim Palace is perhaps most famous for being the birthplace of Sir Winston Churchill the British Prime Minister who led the country during World War II. Number 9. Dirtle Door Dirtle Door is a stunning natural limestone arch and beach located on the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. It is one of the most iconic and recognizable landmarks along this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dirtle Door was formed over thousands of years through the erosive action of the sea against the soft limestone cliffs. The arch itself was created by the gradual erosion of the harder rock that once connected the headland to the mainland. This unique geological feature has made Dirtle Door a must-see attraction for visitors from around the world. The natural arch stands as a testament to the power of the elements and showcases the intricate processes that have shaped our planet over time. Number 10. Cliffs of Dover the Cliffs of Dover are an iconic natural landmark located along the southeastern coast of England, facing the English Channel. These white chalk cliffs have held historical, cultural, and natural significance for centuries. The Cliffs of Dover are composed of chalk, a type of soft limestone formed from the remains of marine organisms. The cliffs rise dramatically from the edge of the sea, displaying their characteristic white color that contrasts against the blue of the English Channel. The chalk cliffs are part of the same geological formation that extends across the English Channel to northern France. This geological feature was created millions of years ago during the Cretaceous period when the area was submerged beneath a shallow sea. Number 11. Tower of London The Tower of London is a historic castle and UNESCO World Heritage Site located in central London. It is a symbol of the city's history, royalty, and cultural significance. The Tower of London has a history spanning over 1,000 years. It was founded by William the Conqueror in 1066 as part of his efforts to establish control over the newly conquered England. Throughout its history, the tower has served as a royal palace, a prison, a fortress, a treasury, and a place of execution. The tower complex comprises several buildings, including the White Tower, which is the central core of the structure. 